Hello guys, what's up? The Shirt Talking, welcome back to my channel. Today video will be about Volcar Anatomia, and well, we just got a new event alongside a new banner, and another two different banners for specific characters. Well, we need to talk about it, just start with the new banner. Well, the new banner has a very old character, not exactly as much as old as you think, but uh, actually one year, and the Japanese release is Shadow. Uh, Kaede is an inheritor that already appeared on the story a lot of times, and we got her event finally. I was uh, kind of expecting them to skip it all together, and they did something unexpected. Uh, besides Kaede, Suo is on the banner as well. Suo was a character that was uh, expected to be free because Suo is a gen uh, Generation 1 character. Um, very, very old. His passives are very. Uh, weak compared to our, our new characters, you see greatly increased attack, but the, the translation doesn't mean the, the correct thing. Uh, Suyu perform just like um, the original Wildfred. He's very similar in power to Wildfred, if you want to compare the two units. So uh, now let's just uh, give a look first on Kaede. Kaede is, is a generation 3 character, it's the spotlight of the banner. Uh, she uses swords, but it's actually uh, the weapon of choice is different. But uh, you can see that she has a good fire score attack, 3.5k. I don't think they changed it, it was already okay. The fire score defense is good for sword fighters, but the, the, the status is not what important. She is uh, from the holly element. We already have some sword fighters of the holly element. Uh, we also have L, that it's a, a, a tank that works with the swords. We also have Victor Freya. Victory Freya was released after Kaede, so she's better than Kaede. That's uh, very easy to understand. So uh, only the third hit is from Holy Elemental, so she really needs a, a sword of the Holy Element. You can see that her uh, Purify Attack also doesn't have a special animation, also from Holy. And now let's just check her passive. So you can see that she greatly increases Fire Skull Attack in Holy. The first is just always the most interesting, but it sees each turn here. At each turn, it should be uh, stackable, I'm not so sure, the description suggests that. And the second one increases all status and guard hate went down to 80 and 50% HP. So uh, this is for Cheers Battle Arena. Uh, it's in interesting that they just released a Cheers Battle Arena and they are releasing Kaede now because it's where your uh, HP uh, falls below 80%, below 50% and it will really change uh, more how you win on Cheers. But on special bosses, you never want to get to these levels. You will always heal back when you reach 50% HP, unless you really want to joke about your uh, situation. And the last increase critical hit hate and critical hit damage. Um, she's not exactly uh, good for action skill damage, she is average. And her limited skill in uh, sacrifice 10% of HP to increase the damage. So you kind of have to just get a uh, um, AS burst to get her damage better. So you can unleash the limited skill before, unleash enchant skill, and then use your action skill damage. But I don't know, uh, uh, we already got uh, Victory Freya, we have better options to come in the future. Very better options to come in the future. I don't think Kaede sustains as, as much. Uh, but uh, you can see that she has this interesting thing here that increases her critical hit hate. And her critical hit hate is used for critical hit healings. Uh, we already have some characters released very recently that, ha that were uh, capable of doing that, but she's one of the only ones for the holy element. So this is a good combination, but we'll be getting another one with a new Valkyrie in the future that can also heal back, but heals better. She will only heal super percent by each hit, simply because uh, it's from orb, and you also need this orb to perform well. Uh, I don't think you need to summon for Kaede, especially because we now have a different banner that we'll be talking very soon that you can summon for um, Shakun. Shakun is a way better healer than Kaede. Uh, so now let's just uh, talk about Suo. Now I don't think we need to talk too much about Suo simply because, like I said, he's a very old character. Unless they change it, their his passives. I don't think they did. Uh, he can't compare to any other uh, units in this game. So you can see that uh, only the third is ice as well, he doesn't have a special animation, his attacks are very slow, it's comparable to his uh, original animations from the original game, Volcar Profile game. Mm, no, no, let's just check uh, the passive, you can see that the first passive only increases attack, it doesn't increase elemental damage, so it's a very old design. They, when, when we started this game, 
the characters were like that. The first passive you won't increase either mag or attack, and then after uh, the second generation started, uh, you could see it increase in elemental damage as well. So they didn't change this. It's already showing that this uh, this unit, this character is not good. Uh, increased damage dealt by critical hits. Mm, okay, critical hit damage. And decreased damage taken from ice attacks and lower chance of being frozen. You can see this is a very, very good design. It's just like the story characters in the game that they were having like this. They decrease the damage from a specific element, lower chance of being uh, inflicted with a specific uh, status element. It's too old for this generation. He doesn't even come in with an enchant skill. He will sacrifice moment purification gorge to activate and increase defense and mind of all allies. We've seen this before as well. Not many uh, recent units uh, have this, but well, um, very very old design. So let's just talk about the weapon. Maybe the weapon is better. Uh, spin light foam blade. Uh, is, uh, is this? Let me see here. Yeah, spin blade uh, is. Spring Light Family. So it is Colossal Damage, 3 uses, okay, we, we it's the highest we can get. And it improves the critical hit hate by 2% from the start of battle. I'm pretty sure Professional Y gets to 5% when you uh, evolve it to Legendary, so it's a very good option to use with her because she needs more critical hit ch chances. And you can see with the Spirit's Word Missile as a sub, you can use uh, the Spirit's. Um, the Halbert from Aelia, the original one, I'm forgetting the name, as a sub as well. So you have three weapons with the increases critical hit. It's good, but I think that Professional Eye comes from Spirit's Word Missile Time. Unless you evolve this one, if you if the passive has the same name, you can stack it. So, well, remember that if you want to upgrade this weapon. So, okay, we talked about this banner, now we have to talk about the older banners. Because we are full of banners again. I, I said on the past video that they were kind of reducing the content, but they just get it back. And the first one instantly increase your mind, got, get powerful weapons and dominating tears arena. This is an awesome banner, guys. Uh, it's just so sad that I don't, I'm not prepared for this. But if some of you are prepared for this banner, you will be very, very happy. Uh, it's not a very good banner to be summoning with gems, simply because you can see here on the drop hates. The drop hates are pretty awesome. It's 15% to get a 6 star. Can see here. So, well, we never had 15% chances of getting anything with silver tickets. So this is the place for you to spend all your silver tickets trying to get a, uh, a weapon, and you will be getting an average of uh, at least one six star on every eight pulls. I think this is pretty awesome. But uh, RNG can still uh, don't blast you, and you can still fail to get. But you can see, uh, um, if I get at least two more silver tickets, I'll be getting at least two. Uh, weapons thrown here from free very easy to do that but if you're summoning with gems it's it's not bad but you don't have any character to get from here now let's just give a look on the weapons i'm not so sure if these weapons are uh old or not they are releasing just so many weapons recently because of the anti descension banners that i never understand this uh it's, it seems like glatoria is good um guernica no no guernica is a very old weapon I don't remember during some spine, but Crevanius is good. Uh, uh, it's too many, too many, too many weapons. Colossal damage. This one is uh, a buff. Guernica is a buff. Works just like a uh, secret compact, but only for uh, magic instead of attack. This one is colossal again three times. This uh, colossal again three times. So three colossal damage weapons, and the bow is the only one that is a buff. So now we talk about this, if you have too many silver tickets, don't mind spending here, unless you want to get your chances on characters. And we also have a good banner for characters. At least we are getting good banners, guys, because they released so many of uh, good banners in the past. Uh, this one, it will be a cycle between three days. The first one is Balinos and uh, Dark Sina. Dark Sina is not good, you can use Shackgun in her place, simply put, but Bolinos is very good yet, he will still be performing well. But uh, you see, you are only chasing Bolinos on this banner. We have three banners that will have the same things related to it. You can see the drop hates will be 2% for any artifact. Let's just check down below, you can see... let's see... Here, 1% for each artifact. So 1% is even better sometimes than the, the, the original banner, depending on um, the first pool at least. 
On the third pool, they will probably have one, uh, more than 1% chances, but you are uh, still looking at 2% chances from start. It's not uh, from step 3 beyond. Uh, okay, so I like I said, I don't think this is the best combination. The last one is the best one of them all. The day three is something that a lot of people should be chasing. Let me see here, click on notice, and you will understand. But this is only for people that have way too many silver tickets or just want to swim with gems. Uh, it's a good combination. I I can't complain. Let's see what we have here. Here, this, not, this notification will explain it better. We have three days. Uh, the first one is Belenos and Dark Flower Cena, then Darkness Mystina and Nemo Alfio. I don't think this is the best one. The best one is simply the, the last. Screens on Dragon Aida is too strong, even on Japan. Shakugan is, is one of the best healers, just got uh, uh, replaced it as a, the best, but still one of the best. And Crimson Dragon Aelia will keep being useful just like Shakugan. And you can try to summon both on this last day banner. And uh, if you at least summon in for each different day, you can get uh, the same support tickets. And then on the last day, you can choose uh, the one that you didn't get or the R for the character that you got. But you can see that you are also getting uh, talismans. But talismans are uh, kind of not needed as, uh, anymore because you only use them with story uh, characters or collaboration characters. We don't get any more collaboration characters in the story. Characters are just so old that no one uses them anymore. I don't know. I, I wish we got uh, another use for talismans. Okay, so you can see uh, if you get the support chickens, you can choose Red Dragon Alien. A uh, very nice. Thing. We are also getting another banner, this is another on to the Shenshin, uh, banner. They don't ever uh, get tired of releasing more and more banners for on to the Shenshin. We have Hurt Bilia back again. This uh, this bow here I think is for Snow Lennet. Uh, Hurt Bilia is for Snow Lennet. I, yeah, I think it is. Uh, it's good because it uses extreme damage. We are on the Colossal Era, but the, the bow at least uh, reduces the defenses of the enemy, 10% of defense, mag defense, and holy defense, and the other weapon is different, it's just colossal damage 3 times use. We have way too many uh, colossal damage now that just have 3 uses, but at least it helps um, getting more colossal pipe in the banner, because too many uh, extreme weapons still on banners that kind of makes it harder to build a max set colossal weapon. Okay, uh, here let's see if there's anything different on with the staff. We have a different passive with a different name, Holy Standard. It probably increases more than the average 8% of the large increase. Okay, now we talk about all the banners. We have a new event alongside this um, Kaede, so let's just talk briefly about it uh, so this video doesn't get too long. You can see Fluttering Patterns. This is the new. Uh, event. We have some very good things here. Uh, we still have a lot of few values. Uh, ten. Uh, this event will only be one part, I think. We have Vigdrazi Branch, Legendary Rainbow Stone, and uh, this weapon here is still a not severe type damage. You can just sell it or trade for uh, Divine Fragments. Okay, so I will be trying to run uh, this boss here. I will try to bring a very powerful squad so I don't waste too much time. So let me just prepare for it. This is the last thing on this update. Okay, so I'll be using this squad. I don't think it's so, so strong. Uh, my floral always not even max it. But uh, a Parallax is in uh, solo 8 exists. So let's just start and see if this boss is strong enough to handle this. Remember, this is old event. But I think this boss is not uh, kind of balanced for our actual status after we got so many limit breaks to increase that. So uh, let's just start with Enigma. <laughs> uh, the boss is weak to both Ice and Ollie. So um, I don't know. Let's just attack normally for the first turn to see what happens. Yeah, the damage is already very high. We expect it. This enigma increases a lot of damage. Yeah, next turn he will be dead. Just want to see if there's some specific mechanic related to this boss. He has something like 30 or 40 k million. Forty million HP. Sorry. Uh, okay, he just uh, tried to buff himself. If buff it, his defense and mag defense. 
I wonder if it's uh, strong enough of a buff. I will just try to unleash some of my actions to damage. It seems to be a very good buff. So it's better to try to defeat this boss uh, on the first turn. The colossal damage uh, makes quite a lot of difference here. You can see that. Three actions Q uses and he's dead. My Awakened Linnet is not uh, maxed yet. She didn't, she didn't get any of the new limit breaks. So I don't think this will be a problem for anyone with colossal weapons. Well, so I think this is it guys, I don't think to, to end this fight anymore. Uh, thank you for watching, please subscribe if you haven't, and we see each other on the next video. Bye!